Um, thank you, and hi, my name is Fatima Anjo, and today I'll be presenting to you about water contamination. So before I really get into the topic, I want to ask you all one question. Why is water important? You can give your answers out loud if you want. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Helps in cleaning the body from diseases. Anyone else? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, it helps in agriculture. It's a need for everything on earth to survive. And it hydrates the body. It helps our organs actually function. So we cannot survive without it for four days. So now I want you guys to keep this question and these answers in mind as you as I present. So now let's get down to what is water contamination. So water contamination is when water bodies such as lakes, oceans, rivers are contaminated with unhealthy and unwanted materials. This can be either done through human activity or natural causes. Today I'll be focusing on water contamination due to human activity, specifically mismanaged trash. So how does trash get into our waters? Well, one common way is through littering. This habit is, is common among millions of people today, and it's really difficult for people to break because usually people see it as, oh, I'm returning this back to the earth, right? But this is such an act that actually causes pollution and contamination for our environment. So when trash is in our water bodies, the water becomes unsanitary, containing many contaminants, especially those that are difficult to break down, like plastic, styrofoam, oils, rubber, and polythene products. Trash, especially like household liquids, cleaners, and paints, spread various chemicals like bisphenol A, ammonia, bleach, and PS oligomer. Along with these chemicals, many bacteria and viruses also spread, like listeria, Salmonella, E. coli, adenovirus, notovirus, rotavirus. These are a lot of terms to take in, but what I want to point out is that aside from trash contaminating our waters, it is also bringing a lot of pollutants with it, which is usually impacting human health. Such filthy water is impacting communities by making them more prone to disease, illnesses, and infections. Every 10 seconds, a human dies from dirty water, resulting in about 3.6 million deaths each year. These people usually have trash contaminated water sources that are toxicated and with various pollutants. Since we are discussing water pollution, it is obvious that the aquatic environments are also suffering the consequences. About 300 aquatic species around the world today are suffering from water contamination. Their habitat is left congested with trash and toxins. They endure health issues like suffocation, starvation, illnesses, infections, and many disabilities. Many aquatic animals also often mistake in trash as food. So, just recently, last week, a dead sperm whale was found on the coast of Indonesia, and it contained 115 cups 25 plastic bags, a thousand pieces of string, along with much more trash in its stomach. This, this in total was about 13 pounds of trash. And that right there is its stomach actually being cut open, and this is the trash they find within it. And this trash was because of us, because we decided to litter our oceans and waters without any concern. Land animals are also enduring similar problems. The reason they face these issues is because the water that they drink, in, drink from or bathe in is often contaminated by the trash we eat, which results in many deaths and forces them to live in contaminated habitats. So in general, many animal species are becoming endangered and some are on the brink of extinction because of this issue. For example, krill. Since the water is polluted with chemicals and pathogens, they often suffer illnesses and toxins. And when they're eaten by marine animals such as whales, penguins, or other fish, those species also decline with them. So if we let this issue continue, it's going to impact our ecosystem, specifically 
the food chain, which could increase populations or decrease populations, uh, leaving us with an imbalanced ecosystem. As contaminated water bodies flow across the earth, the soil is also affected. When litter is washed up onto land, it eventually mixes in with the dirt and does not break down that easily. This leaves just plain contaminants in the dirt and pollutants, chemicals, bacteria, which prevent, prevent our soils from remaining fertilized and healthy. So the groundwater is also affected, which is a valuable water source for millions of people around the world. So they are also getting impacted too with all these pollutants, giving them infections, illnesses. The plants also absorb that same groundwater. So this prevents plants from growing to their full potential and often leaving lands bare. So this decreases the environment, environmental habitats, as well as our agriculture. So when we have trash polluted water for our agriculture, this causes our crops to deplete. Now I know I just threw a lot of information about, at you about how this issue is affecting us, the environment. This is a very, very important um, concern to discuss because it spreads so much pollution and contamination across our world, affecting everyone and all the environment. Now, you should think that, yes, we need solutions to this, right? But before we think of any solutions or consider any, the reason I asked, I want to backtrack to the question. So the reason why I asked you all about that question and why don't you guys keep those answers was because I believe that the first step to prevention is to really realize how important water is, not just in our lives, but just for the whole entire world. If we do this and understand our water, why our water is so important and valuable, we'd be able to prevent it and protect it with more concern. So today's many solutions are being implemented to clean our waters and help manage garbage. Organizations like Four Ocean, Seabin Project, and River Cleaning are inventing new technologies today to prevent trash from um, leaking into our waters. Legislations have also been established like the Clean Water Act and Pollution Prevention Act. Agencies like the EPA are, are researching, collecting more de data, and coming up with more solutions every now and then to prevent this issue. This is such great news, I know. But now, what can we do ourselves as individuals? Well, for one thing, let's not litter. I know some of you might think this is a difficult task, but by breaking this habit in our lives, it would benefit us now and the future. Applying such habits in our daily lives would all have to include like recycling habits and proper disposal habits. So throwing our recycling into the proper bins, throwing our trash into its own bin. These habits would allow others to follow after you, possibly your family, friends. So teaching about water contamination and sanitation is very critical for this issue to be solved. Also donating and volunteering in camps, clubs, and organizations to prevent trash from littering our waters would allow the, this message to spread and teach people about water contamination and sanitation. If we carry out these solutions with these simple steps, we could assist in providing clean, safe drinking water for 2.1 billion people around the world. It would prevent health issues, save species, protect our ecosystems, clean up our lands, and purify our waters. So I encourage you to take this act, these actions and protect our waters because we cannot let such a valuable source go to waste. Thank you.